he actually found data to suggest that the 380 ACP is actually more effective in stopping one round fights than nine millimeter or 45 ACP. Hello everyone and welcome back to AmbleMark.com. Today we're gonna to continue our discussion of the 380 ACP caliber and whether it would be a good choice for each individual as an everyday carry gun. Let's go back in time a little bit for those of you that might have missed the previous video and talk about briefly the 380 ACP and its origins. It was actually one of the first guns exclusively designed for pocket carry. It could be found in the 1908 Colt pistol, which was hammerless and actually marketed as a pocket gun. Now, importantly, there were many concealed carry guns out before then, starting probably with the Derringer. But significantly, the 1908 was also marketed as one that had enough power to get somebody through a dangerous situation. And that's important because all through the 1920s, American gangsters loved the 1908. Not only for its concealability, but in the age of Tommy guns, BARs, and 45 ACPs, it was the preferred weapon of Bonnie Parker, John Dillinger, and Al Capone was always rumored to have one in his pocket. I think that's an interesting thing to keep in mind as we go forward with our discussion of people that had a way better than average chance of being in a shootout at any time didn't seem to mind the 380 ACP caliber. Now originally, the caliber was designed to be used in the delayed blowback gun. And as you make your selection for an everyday carry gun, that's something you're gonna have to keep in mind. Because the way those guns work are with the heavier slide so the shooter gets less recoil. That's the way the gun worked, and as a consequence, it became more manageable. There are, available today, a lot of lock breech mechanism 380 ACP pistols on the market. They're very good weapons, but because of the nature of the way the gun works, you're absolutely going to feel more recoil, not only related to the size, but the way the gun works. So going forward as an everyday carry selection with the 380 ACP, you have to educate yourself a little bit on what's actually being said and what it actually means. Here's the problem. You will be told that 380 ACP has 94% less recoil than a 9mm. That's true, but a 9mm what? What they oftentimes don't tell people is that would assume that the 9mm is the same weight, size, and all things being equal. Oftentimes, they're comparing apples to oranges. If you have a small 380 ACP caliber gun, you are going to notice a ton of felt recoil. The adjective most often used to describe these little guys are snappy. And I can tell you from my experience as a range instructor, if you buy this and try to learn how to shoot on it, you're in for a very, very long day. It's very difficult to do. Small sight radius, triggers are designed such that the gun inadvertently doesn't go off, and proficiency with this gun can take a long, long time, sometimes even in experienced hands. Another important factor to consider with your everyday carry gun, based on whatever platform you're interested in, is does it have enough stopping power? The 380 ACP gets kicked around a lot as being a weak bullet and completely inadequate in a life safety situation. I must tell you, I don't agree. I don't agree at all. Clear back to the 1920s as we talked, people didn't really find that to be the case was actually adopted by five different European militaries and was issued to general officers in the United States Army during World War II. Significantly, this cartridge, compared to the nine over here, will deliver two to 300 foot-pounds of energy onto the target. For those of you that may not know or have a good understanding of what that might be, your nine millimeter runs about 350. So, close. However, adequate. If you don't mind, you have some time, Google some information in a study of 1,800 shootings done by Greg Elifritz. He actually found data to suggest that the 380 ACP is actually more effective in stopping one round fights than nine millimeter or 45 ACP. It is true that there's only 10 percentage points between all of the calibers related to handguns, but it does remarkably well in that study. I don't have time to cover the study completely here, but it's some fascinating material that everybody should familiarize themselves with. 
Some other issues with the 380 ACP that you have to consider are availability and cost. Even in ammunition shortages, go back to the good old days when you could go into the stores and buy anything you wanted. It does come at an elevated cost compared to 9mm Luger, somewhere between 6 and $8 a box. During the pandemic, it wasn't uncommon to find 380 ACP ammo for sale for $70 per box. That is a ton of money. So, one of the ways to look at it is, I can spend more time on the range with my 9, and cost for cost, perhaps that is a better way to go if you're on a limited shooting budget or 380 ACP availability becomes more difficult once again. My guess is it undoubtedly will. You'll notice with some of the guns I have laid here on the table, this is a larger Ruger called the LC380. It's common sense that this heavier gun is going to give the shooter less recoil and more shootability. In a future video, we're going to compare the stopping power of 9mm 380 ACP and as well as the new guy on the market, the bridge between 380 and 9 is the 380 Super Carrier, Super Carry Caliber. I haven't had a chance to fire the caliber yet, but it's marketed as the magical bridge between 380 and 9, giving you just about as much 9mm stopping power with more capacity than the 9 and certainly more stopping power capacity than the 380. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to pan out whether that's true or not. Look for that video coming up. In conclusion, I would like to tell you this. In my experience, it's not how much, but where. Bullet placement or shot placement is going to be what allows you to live through a dangerous event. Some of these guns are inherently more difficult to shoot, but if an individual shooter can shoot them well, you get a tremendous amount of concealability and, in my opinion, a very effective cartridge related to stopping power. Thank you for your time. Don't be afraid to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.